Hi there. How are you? It's been a while. All I want to say today is have a lovely summer break. No, I tricked you. It's a grammar lesson. It's a grammar lesson with brand new sound system. Okay, what I want to show with you today, haha, is cleft sentences. Cleft sentences, you say? Ooh, what are these? Okay, don't you worry. Give me, what, 10 minutes? Um, and I'll explain very quickly so that you can go on your summer break and practice this new and very important element of English grammar. Are you ready for it? Let's go! sentence. Um, cleft means split, okay, divided. So a cleft sentence divides our sentence so that we can put emphasis, so that we can stress what's really important. Um, I started my lesson with all I want to say that is an indicator that what follows is a cleft sentence. All is one of the most uh, typical words we start cleft sentences with. Um, all I want to say is uh, that I wish you a fantastic summer holiday. Um, it is only last year that we met. It, it is another very typical beginning for cleft sentences. It is only last year that we started this course together and look how many things we learned. Um, so how we build cleft sentence? What, what, what happens there? Okay, we have our word which can be it or that or all um, followed by whatever we need. So all I want to say uh, or simply it plus the verb to be in any verbal tense you want. It can be in the present, in the past, or in the future. It will be with great pleasure uh, that um, I'll welcome you back in September. So, it will be, it was or it is with great pleasure. Um, then, what we have is our stressed, our emphasized bit. Okay, so if I want to say um that my brother gave me a sound system i can say my brother gave me a sound system and it is a fantastic and perfectly correct sentence but if i want to stress the information that's new for you and surprising and fantastic and i really want to put an accent on it i can say it is a new sound system that my brother gave me or it was my brother who gave me this new sound system um, or I can stress when it happened. It was yesterday that my brother gave me this new sound system. Um, it is important to understand that it uh, does not change because it is like all or like that in this cleft structure. So it is mo not modified. If I want to say that my brother gave me two sound systems, uh, which is not true, he gave me one but beautiful and I really love it, um, I could say, um, it, uh, it was two sound systems that my brother gave me. I wouldn't say, um, I wouldn't change it into a plural, okay? It was yesterday that I learned um, and whatever else I want to, to uh, include in that, in that sentence. But the most important part is whatever comes after the cleft structure. So it or what and the verb to be. Um, I wanted to point out that if you speak, you have different ways of putting emphasis on the information that you consider important. But when you write, this is uh, really limited because you cannot tell me uh, that you want to put an accent or a stress on a part of a syllable. So if you create a cleft sentence, 
the reason why I'm writing is, or the reason I'm writing is to uh, wish you a fantastic summer holiday. This indicates what part of your sentence you want to put emphasis on. Uh, so this structure is really helpful if you want to create uh, emphasis in your um, emails, in your professional or personal correspondence. Um, so imagine that you need to write um, an email about a deadline. Um, and the person you're writing to is worried about different things, but the only thing they should be worried about is the deadline. So you would write, it is the deadline that you should be worried about. And it indicates that all the other things that person is worried about, money or uh, stamps or whatever, that is not important, the deadline is. Okay, the reason I'm writing is to stress how important the deadline is. Also fine. So, um, the cleft sentences are extremely frequently tested on the Cambridge Advanced exam, okay? CAE, Certificate of Advanced English, um, has um, a great uh, uh, level of difficulty in terms of testing grammar bits and pieces. And cleft sentences happen to be their favorite. So, if you're preparing for this exam, you definitely need to practice this. But if you want to make sure that you have uh, a way of putting emphasis in writing and also in speaking, this is a bit that you need to practice. Um, all I want to add is that I'm really grateful uh, for your presence over this last school year. I am so happy that we studied together and I can't wait to see you all back uh, in September. Uh, if there is anything in particular that you would like to study, please let me know and I will make sure that uh, lessons are published uh, responding to your requests. Um, one more time, thank you so much for all your help and support and um, for being uh, here for me when I needed motivation for new lessons. And uh, I'm very, very grateful. I wish you all a fantastic summer and I can't, can't wait to see you guys in September. Bye!